What was that? My howl. Edwin's men approach. Prepare yourself. The soldiers are close. That's the last of them. Edwin will be waiting for aid that never comes. Something wrong? No. No, quite the opposite. At Sancte Albanes, your brother claimed kinship with the gods. Is it true? Is he descended from the Archon's children? The Isu? Not to be blunt, Fulke, but only half of what you say ever makes any sense to me. Forgive me. I often presume too much of my audience. Men who fear damnation when ignorance is the greatest of all evils. Ignorance of what? What a perfect sentence. I'll ask more simply. Could your brother be descended of the gods? Or could he be a god himself? You spend too much time locked in that fed itself, okay? Weeks of fasting and prayer and abstinence can clarify that which we otherwise fail to see. Sigurd is only a man, the son of a king and my brother. He may think highly of himself, but he's no god. Yet it's possible his line of kings was fathered by a god, in ages past. We haven't time for these fantasies, Fulke. It's time I regroup with Giedrich to see how his assault preparations are coming along. Godspeed, Eivor. I will stay here to pray for the souls of the dead before I join you.
Gelf! Some will swear to it by God and St. Cuthbert, but I haven't given him much truck. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Look, lads! There's Abel! See that our We're with you, Abel! Of arrows enough Those for everyone! Twenty to a man! To stop us. Long... Heathridge! Avro, have you dealt each with a few bruising blows? I have. She'll feel the pain soon enough. Excellent. My men are itching to attack the fortress, but we'd be fools to force it now. Why is that? On account of Edwin's got too many traps and defenses. Her springles cut us to bloody stumps before they poured boiling oil upon us like a summer tempest. Keep the men at the ready. I'll slip in alone and see what I can do about these defenses. By my joints and ankles, you're a tough one. Giedrich and victory! Looks impregnable. That will be Edwin's last stand.
could rig these cauldrons. Leather. are large bolt casters. I must disable them. There's more to be done, but this should be enough to launch the assault. Now it's down to Giedrich to lead his men. Say we wait. There's too much riding on this. I am Sigurdjarn, Lord of East Mercia, and I say we fight. 
Now! Is it done? It is. And have you laid your poles of Hazel and composed your poems for this coming victory? I'm here to speak with Gietrich. Go on, then. Your master of aids. Still dreaming of your precious stone? It is not dreams that led me here, Eivor. I've had visions. Prophecies from the gods. Visions? I'll sacrifice to Tyr this day. The Lord of Justice. The harbinger of flawless victory. Sigurd, what prophecies? Are we ready to assault the castle, Eivor? The sign's important. Read well. We are ready. Give the command. Good. And let's be quick about it. My scouts tell me a force of King Alfred's men is on the march. Let's end this before that flap-mouthed pudding has a chance to hit back.
You felled the lofty lady. Do what you must, Thane of Dungheaps. As one loyal to her shire and her people, I know which of us God favors. Eivor bested you. It's for Eivor to decide your fate. Heal her wounds, dress her in rags, and send her out onto the heath in exile. You are banished from Mercia, without family, without rank, without friends to comfort you. I will walk the roads until my feet are bloody, dreaming of cutting out your rotten lungs. Take her away. I fulfilled my promise to you. I trust you'll do the same. An oath between our people. Aye, ah, you've done us well, Eivor. I thank you. And if ever you need the like, I'll do what I can. I will. Count on it. I'd be quick about plundering. King Alfred will be on his way, and he won't be alone. of the Ancient Ones, the Isu, the gods of begat of gods. I... I've seen this somewhere. I know these words. I... One who stands at a threshold should take great care to look around, for who knows what foes lie in wait in the halls beyond. I have passed through this doorway once before, with Sigurd, in a dream. Not once, a thousand times. A thousand? Does it say, Sigurd? Does it speak to you? Yes. But the words are... fogged, shadowed. And yet I... I feel their meaning. And the ash tree... I see the grey tree of life, her boughs reaching... skyward, opening the way. It's just as you promised, Basim. All you foretold was true. Eivor, I am more than I appear to be. So much more. This is wicked magic, Sigurd. Dark Seder, do not listen. No, this is real. This is everything. To the walls! To the walls! Alfred's come! King Alfred of Wessex, marching up the rise with a mess of soldiers! Have we time to escape? The men are spent. We've not a chance in blazing hell. A parley, then. We must call a parley. I will speak, and the King of Wessex will listen. As I understand, King Alfred, your name is not spoken with affection here in Mercia. Yet I am close enough to Wessex to hear myself praised from morn till twilight. <laughs> Return to your singing subjects, then, and leave the affairs of Mercia to the Danes. Not till your pagan war songs are safely out of hearing. Offer an exchange, Lord. You can deserve as Please, no, no secrets here. Let's end this here, my lord. Let's exchange men. My best warrior for yours to prove peace. 
After which you leave Mercia, and we fall back north of River Ouse. These terms are fair. Wolfric! My war thane. You will go with Giedrich, brother. Name your man. Sigurdjörn, I offer myself. Thank you, Basin. King Alfred, wait. Hmm. Paladin Fulke, you with this company? I was, my lord. To recover from Edwin what was mine by right. Sigurd is the only man you need. He's worth more than 20 other men. He is the son of a king. Traitorous snake! And his heresies are profound, my lord. He claims to be a living god. I'll got you, troll woman! Tush! I'll gift myself to you, King Alfred. Because it is not my fate to die by your hand. Brother. Have faith, for the Lord God watches over you all. This man is dangerous, my lord. Let me hold him. Do what you must, but treat him with care. One more, and only because you all have such good taste. Now. Wolfgar, so glad to see you. Good God, Spanby. One of us? Ah, a new life. Evo? A moment. 
good day. Ranvi, our work is done in Oxenefordshire, but the cost has been high. I feared as much when this letter arrived, from one called Fulke, addressed to you. From Fulke? Gods, that witch! It is there on the table. Fulke's with the Order of the Ancients. The same order Kjotve followed. The order that Bessem and Hytham have pledged to destroy. Eivor, what has happened? Sigurd has been taken hostage, captured by King Alfred and given to a woman named Fulke. A very dangerous woman. What does she want with him? I will spare you Fulke's ramblings, but know this. Sigurd did his part to secure an alliance with a thane called Gidrich. Gidrich is an honest man and will come when I call. Until that time, Bassem will locate Fulke. Look for his message when it comes. Come to me. I want to see the Alliance map. Hytham asked that I travel to London. What do you know of it? A wild city, one that Hafton Ragnarsson tried to claim for himself years ago. But it resists all attempts to be held. Hytham claims the city is overrun by a strange cult, the Order of the Ancients. He asks that I track them down and kill them. Doing so may help the honest people there, and earn us an ally in the process. In a city so chaotic, it is worth a try. Approach by the North Gate and start asking around. I will. Good. I await your return. Be. Tekla, you look like you wrestled a bear. Is something wrong? God, Eivor, I was robbed on the road between here and Lincoln. By who? Did you get a good look at them? They were Saxons, I know that much. A pack of them lifted four barrels of my ale and all the coin I had on me. The biggest one pulled me off my horse and stuck his mouth in my ear, said, Tell Guthban we expected him home soon. Guthban? That's Battlebone in the Saxon tongue. Are you sure? That's what he said. It's not someone here, is it? Not that I know of. I do not begrudge us taking in orphans, Eivor, but some of these Saxons, we hardly know them. You ought to ask around. A good idea. You take care of yourself. Let me see to this. Thank you, Eivor. Hey, my friend. I am well, Rowan. I had only a small question. Do you know anyone named Guthban? Guthban? Hmm. Nothing comes to mind. Should I? It is not a question of should. Ah. Is it a horse? Uh, no, it's, um... A lover? No, Rowan, it's... It's no one. You came here to ask me about no one. Thank you for your time. The air has a nice scent to it today. Octavian. Ah, salve, Eivor. How are you? Well, thank you. A question. Does the name Guthban mean anything to you? 
Guspin. Hmm. It's not Latin, is it? It is a name, I think. But no face comes to mind. I fear it may be a moniker. A false name. <laughs> so you came to me? Why would you come to me about a false name? Do you think my name is false? No. Is it? I am Octavian. I've always been Octavian. Uh, now, please, Eivor, this is not a good time for me. I am terribly busy. Good day. Tarben, do you have a second? I was wondering if... I am Guthpen, Eivor. It means battle bone. Not the name of a cheery baker, is it? Not one who bakes bread, no. So, how did you earn this name? Good. I'll lead the way. I want you to know, should it come to blows with my old crew, I can handle it myself. Forgiving me is all the work you need to do. There is nothing to forgive. You walked away. They pursued. By axe or by fist, I will do what must be done to protect my clan. <laughs> You're living the life you want, aren't you? Before we're spotted, tell me what I should expect here. Would they attack us on sight? I shouldn't think so. No. Nothing like that. It's not how Wilf operates. Yes, he's a clever one. And rather kind when you meet him. Makes you feel like you're a friend. Family. I met him a decade ago, and he was the first person to truly welcome me. To see some value in me. He told me I had a gift. For intimidation. Persuasion. Violence. Just by the size and strength of me, he knew how to use me.
So, what do they want from you now? They'll want me back. They'll want me to be the man they think I am. Monstrous and massive. Wilf and them were the only family I had then. But their love was conditional. Wilf only loved what he owned. So, what do you intend? I know I won't go back. I don't want more blood on my hands. But apart from that, it's hard to say. Who knows what they have in mind? We're stopping. That house, there. They're likely within. It won't look like much, Eivor. But don't be fooled. And don't take Wilf lightly, charming as he seems. The man is a serpent. I've met plenty of charmers who turned out to be snakes. I know, I know. Only a warning. Let's go inside. Gotham, my boy, as I live and breathe, you got my message. And you brought a friend. Who might you be, Dane? His new leash? I am Eivor, and the woman you robbed was one of my clan. I will not stand. I know, I know. I'm busted up about it. But tell Tekla, was it? Tell her that Arayal is some of the finest we've tasted. I am done with you, Wilf. But we are not done with you, boy. We gave you food, shelter, ale to drink, riches galore. We made you who you are. For all you did for him, he repaid you with blood and sweat, did he not? You're a fiery one, I like that. But the ink was dried on this deal well before your number arrived in England. If you wish to clear Tarbin's name, I'm happy to help with that. It's only a small matter of cost. Some weeks back, soldiers confiscated my personal wares, shall we say. Tried to confiscate me as well, but I gave them the slip. If you're keen, you could recover my belongings and return them to me. Do that, and your name is clear. I... I can't. I promised myself I would leave all this behind, but... If it will clear Tarbin's name, we will recover what is yours. Where are these soldiers? Camped not far to the west. A battalion of blouted, brainwashed military men. You can't miss it for the smell. Wait here, then. We will return before you sprout another pair of horns. God go with you, Eivor.
wise not to draw attention here. Lumber into your fate. everything. I'll return to Tarbin. Is this the sort of work you often did with Wilf and your family of marauders? A quick robbery like this? That was the least of our work. We stole from the poor, killed the helpless, cheated the dimwit. We were lower than slugs. I shudder to remember our best days, and I weep for our worst. Let it go, then. Remember only what makes you a better man. I 
have returned. We have your goods. Beautiful. Beautiful. Put them there. The ledger. Of course. Happy to honor it. My goodness, such a lack of trust these days. It's a dark age, no mistake. That's it, then. We're done? Aye. You are free to walk from this place and live as tob in the boring bread maker for the rest of your days. But you, Eivor, if you ever get tired of the settled life, we could always use a thief with your skills. Think about it. Tarber, are you satisfied? Yes. I cannot thank you enough, Abel. I feared the worst when I heard my old moniker, Gutman. Hadn't heard it in years. Wretches of fearful memories. I imagine. How did you fall in with that bunch? After my mother died, I sought family. <laughs> Wilf offered it. He looked at me, took me in and told me who I was. Who I could be. I don't crave that belonging anymore. Among you lot, people accept me as I am. The greatest gift I ever got. Peace. Many men are calm, because they have never known a storm. You weathered the storm, and worked through it. It is a rare thing. That means a lot. Thank you. Good to be home again. That is, if I haven't robbed myself of the pleasure of calling it home. Tyrban, in spite of all, you're welcome here. And yours nothing but the work you love. Right. Payment in fresh loaves of bread. I can manage that. But first, one scrap of your past remains. Right. The ledger. Toss it, and purge the past. With pleasure, 